Back in 1946, during a stay at a Paris hotel, David Ben-Gurion, by chance, met the Vietnamese political leader Ho Chi Minh. And the pair, who had both become founding fathers of their nations, engaged in some friendly talks. But diplomatic relations between the State of Israel and the Republic of Vietnam would have to wait until 1993. In fact, 30 years ago this month, to this week even. Today, relations between Jerusalem and Hanoi are built on several aspects. Economic ties, Vietnam is Israel's largest trading partner in Southeast Asia. Human ties with many Vietnamese both working and studying here. And Vietnam, a favorite destination of Israeli travelers and extensive cultural and economic exchanges. And joining us in studio now is uh, uh, Ambassador Li Duc Trang, the Vietnamese ambassador to Israel. Mr. Ambassador, uh, welcome to our studio and congratulations Mazel Tov, 30 years of relations between Israel and Vietnam. How will you uh, describe, though, the state of relations at this point between the two countries? Uh, thank you very much for the very warm invitation extended to me uh, to be here at the prime time of I-24 to talk about Israel-Vietnam relations. You have mentioned about uh, the, uh, the meeting between uh, the founding uh, fathers of our two countries, uh, President Ho Chi Minh and uh, Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion. Uh, back in 1946, uh, you know that uh, Vietnam declared independence in 1945. And um, uh, I'm pretty uh, uh, thinking about uh, the fact that uh, during the, uh, such a meeting, people were really talking about uh, how to uh, turn our countries into complete independence mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and bringing uh, peace and freedom to our people. And uh, they have done that. Uh, they did it. And now we are enjoying uh, peace and independence uh, here, here and there. Uh, Vietnam uh, and Israel, we uh, established uh, our diplomatic relations um, back uh, on uh, 12th of July 1993. Uh, we've been uh, going through uh, all the um, difficult moments uh, of history and, and now we are enjoying all the beautiful moments uh, of the present and looking forward uh, to the past. Over the last 30 years, we have gone through uh, strength to strength well, with uh, all the achievements made in cooperation in, uh, in um, all areas, uh, especially in agriculture and in technology, and, uh, and especially in culture and tourism exchange. Uh, and we can see that uh, Vietnam is now becoming a very favorite destination, as you mentioned, for sure. Israeli. Uh, and, um, the State of Israel and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam uh, over the last 30 years uh, have m managed uh, to uh, uh, go together and, and uh, we uh, have been working very well in trade. Uh, last year, uh, our trade volume reached 2.3 uh, billion US dollars. Mm. Uh, very significantly, and uh, over the last um, seven years, we have uh, uh, gone through 12 rounds of negotiation of the free trade agreements, and we have uh, concluded uh, all the negotiation this year. And uh, we are about to sign the uh, Vietnam-Israel free trade agreement uh, very soon uh, this month, and uh, and we will try our best to. Um, uh, turn it into uh, effect uh, beginning of next year. So this is a very important tool for us to further promote bilateral relations to a new height. And we are thinking of uh, the trade volume reaching uh, 3 billion or 4 billion US dollars uh, in the coming years. And uh, how we can make it uh, happen is for sure that the uh, exchange of uh, goods is, is, uh, is in one place. But the exchange of people, tourism, will also contribute a lot when we have more people, people will consume more goods and uh, from uh, uh, each, each side and, and for sure that uh, uh, all this uh, uh, consumption force will contribute largely to the next uh, level of trade relation between our two countries. And I'm sure that um, uh, with all this, um, there will be something like uh, people will move their uh, investment to Vietnam, will do more projects in Vietnam. And uh, with that, uh, 
I think we have a better uh, foundation uh, to further promote our exchanges in all areas from agriculture to high tech to uh, startup and innovation in Vietnam as well. Vietnam is looking to uh, uh, Israel as the source of uh, inspiration uh, for, for Vietnamese uh, to follow the footsteps of uh, Israeli in uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, uh, the milestone of 30 years will uh, open up uh, uh, new opportunities for, uh, for two countries and for two peoples to move forward. Right. Now, I mentioned uh, I've been to uh, Vietnam, and as you said, I know many, many Israelis who have been there. Are there many Vietnamese coming to Israel? And, if, if, and it, can that be improved in the future? Do you spread the good word about Israel? Uh, let's say uh, something like this. Uh, Vietnam uh, has 100 million people right. and Israel uh, 10 million people. I, I, I should say this uh, like not a metaphor but uh, something interesting that they, uh, if you, uh, an Israeli, uh, an individual going to visit Vietnam, there will be 10 Vietnamese going to the airport to welcome you to Vietnam <laughs> and guide you the way uh, through the, the country of uh, 330,000 square kilometers sure. and 2,000 uh, a kilometer from north to the south, 3,200 uh, kilometer of coastline. Oh, it's, it's uh, and an incredibly beautiful spots, I can attest. Yes, the mountain range uh, is magnificent and you can enjoy everything there. And I'm sure that the Vietnamese food will, will champion uh, you and will win your heart very easily. And I'm sure that the love uh, among people uh, should go through the, uh, the stomach and Vietnamese is ready to feed your stomach. All right. Well, I will just note uh, uh, Vietnam, like Israel, a country that's has a turbulent history and for, fortunately uh, had a struggle, military struggle, to achieve its independence. Uh, and both countries have come a long way, and certainly the relations between uh, both countries have come a long way as well. Uh, Ambassador Lee Duck Trung, thank you for joining us on I-24 News for this uh, 30th anniversary of the start of relations between uh, Israel and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Thank you for thank joining you. us. Thank you very much. And I have a good news for you that uh, over the last one one year, two months, and two days, I'm, I'm here. I have been able to work with Netanya municipality to set up a, a Vietnamese uh, space for Vietnamese uh, culture and tourism uh, over there on the street right. named Ten Khai. So you can, can come and enjoy and ask for information before going to Vietnam. A taste of Vietnam before a you taste go. Of Vietnam. Mr. Yes. Ambassador, thank, thank you Thank you very much. Us. And if you want more great content like that from i24 news, just hit the subscribe button. It's as easy as that.